Hey everyone, I'm Adam Kelly, and I'm so excited to introduce our new course, 3D Rendered Datasets with Blender for Beginners. In this course, you'll learn the basics of how to create a simple 3D rendered image dataset with Blender. You'll also learn how to train an image classifier, a simple convolutional neural network that can be used on real photos, even though it's trained on synthetic images. If you've ever tried to solve real world problems with deep learning computer vision, you probably hit the same problems that I have so many times. There are a bunch of really awesome computer vision algorithms out there, but they're all trained on basic object categories and not trained on the thing that you actually want to detect. On top of that, to create your own custom data set is a ton of work. At the very least, you need to collect thousands of images and categorize them into folders. With the more advanced annotations, things like segmentation, bounding boxes, other things like that, it actually takes way more time. It can sometimes take a minute or more per image to get the annotations you need by hand. Now, because these datasets are so difficult, so time consuming and expensive to make, naturally the AI industry is looking for alternative solutions. The technique taught in this course is one of those solutions. And it's a solution that some of the biggest companies in the world are looking into as they start learning about it. And that's because when you have 3D rendered synthetic image datasets, you can 3D render your objects and the 3D renderer can do the annotation for you automatically instead of you having to do it manually. Now the goal of this course is to get you started with 3D rendered datasets as quickly as possible. So we're not gonna start with some super complicated project. Instead, we're gonna start with a really simple image classification dataset. And that data set's going to be comprised of a 3D modeled A, B, or C. And we're going to create an image classifier that can detect whether an image contains an A, B, or C. So we'll start by 3D modeling those shapes. Then we'll set up a backdrop and lighting and a camera. And then we'll do some code along scripting in Python inside of Blender that can automatically vary the rotation and the color of those shapes and render images as many times as we need to. In our case, we're gonna do hundreds of images so that we can then feed those into the training. For the training, we're going to use a Jupyter Notebook that will be another code along exercise that's gonna teach you how to set up transfer learning with MobileNet and TensorFlow so that you can create an image classifier that works on those test images that we render out in that previous section. After we finish the ABC dataset and image classifier, I'm gonna show you what it takes to use this exact same technique on a real world image classification problem. So this is going to be based on this mug. I'm gonna provide you with a 3D model of it. You're gonna be able to import it. And then we're gonna set up a synthetic dataset that can train an image classifier to detect whether this mug is full, half full, mostly empty or empty. Not only that, but it's going to work on real world images. I'm gonna provide you with a set of test images that are real photos taken with real tea in them in my kitchen. So what's included in the course? For both the ABC and T datasets, we're including complete step-by-step -step and code along videos, completed Blender files, Blender Python scripts, image classifier Jupyter notebooks, a TMUG FBX model, and the complete training validation and test image datasets, including real photos we took of the TMUG filled with T. What's required for this course? Some Python experience. If you've never used Python before, then this course might be a little too advanced. I try to keep it really beginner friendly, so as long as you have some Python experience, you should be good. You don't need any Blender experience. You should check your computer and see if it's good enough to run the latest versions of Blender. And you can go to blender.org and they have a minimum required hardware, basically recommendations, 
and you should make sure that you at least exceed that uh, or in the better case, match their recommended specs. CUDA. So NVIDIA graphics cards come with CUDA compute and that really speeds up both rendering and AI training to the order of like five times to 10 times faster. So just be aware of that. You can get by without having the CUDA graphics card, but it will really speed things up if you have it. And finally, I just recommend that you have a mouse and a keyboard with a number pad. It's not required. You can get by without it, but using Blender is way easier if you have a mouse that has a scroll wheel and a number pad. If you have any questions about the course, make sure to reach out to us at the link on the screen. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have, including if you're a student and maybe the price is a little too high, definitely reach out to us and we'd be happy to give you a discount. Lastly, I just wanna thank the community so much for supporting us. Kayla and I really appreciate your support. By buying our courses, you support future work that we do. And not just future paid courses, also future free stuff that we put out. So with that said, I'm really excited to meet all of you that are interested in taking this course and to help you create your first 3D rendered synthetic data sets in Blender.